Is good I am here I'm back what's up welcome back to another video thank you for tuning in it's always appreciated I think it's been like a week since I've uploaded but for some reason it feels like a month um, right after I upload this video today I'm actually recording a tea time regarding our past week has been so busy with Sadie we had to go to the vet um, I'll be updating you about Christian's surgery a lot of you are asking about his school he's actually switching classes and we got some really exciting like emotional news um, so stay tuned for my tea time video going up tomorrow but thank you guys so much for giving me a little break this past week if you're new to my channel I try to upload at least three times a week and I'm always like really active on my Instagram story as well but this past week it's been a lot less um, Sadie went through this phase where I know I just said oh I'm gonna talk about this in the tea time and here I go talking about it Sadie went through this phase at the beginning where she was waking up like three to four times a night your girl was getting no sleep I was physically so exhausted and then with Christian starting school and tutoring and then like the past two weeks she only woke up once a night so I was doing real good I was like really productive last week and then the past few days she's been waking up again like every hour I'm like ma'am excuse me so I've just been really tired and then I thought she was sick and all this stuff. So, anywho, I'm back today with a video. I have for you guys a TJ Maxx haul along with a Marshalls haul. I picked up a few things. Um, before we get into what I actually purchased, I wanted to shoot into some live footage I took at the store, kind of like a shop with me vibe. I love watching those videos. I've been so into those lately. I recently watched my friend Lizzie's video and she went to scounge like through the makeup section at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I originally wanted to go, first of all, because there's a Burlington by my house and I heard that you can get authentic Louis Vuitton stuff at Burlington not every Burlington but I heard that some of the Louis Vuitton that's used in like photo shoots or for celebrity photos if it can't be resold after that um, they do send it to Burlington and it's authentic so I went to my store I couldn't find any I think there's only like a few stores in each state which actually have those items but if you can find them and snag them they are discounted which is really cool um, and then I also heard that Laura Lee makeup and some new Anastasia makeup was at TJ Maxx So that was my original like intent and my original desire for actually going I didn't want to buy anything from Laura Lee I'm not supporting that brand at all or anything, but I was like very curious to see if it was there um, Spoiler my TJ Maxx didn't have any of that But I did go ahead and take a lot of video footage at the store of the cosmetic section and show you guys kind of some fall decor that they had so first off, let's go ahead and just shoot into that. All right, so this is all perfume. Then we have a bunch of drugstore makeup right here, brushes. What'd you find, baby? Makeup bags. So it looks like this is the section where they have high-end makeup at this store. It's all basically locked up. So I noticed they had some Anastasia and some other brands, but I literally can't even pull the palette out to see what shades are in here because there's a lock on the back. I've maybe, you know, people are stealing more or whatever, but I haven't seen anything locked up since the last time I've been here. This is all new, but it looks like we do have some Too Faced melted liquid lipsticks, Sun Bunny bronzer, MAC lip liners. Never seen those here before. More Too Faced melted Becca. What do we have here? Anastasia stick foundation. Kat Von D lipsticks. What is down here? More Too Faced melted subculture. I heard this palette didn't do well, so it probably just got sent here. All right. Marc Jacobs look like these are like lip liquid lip pencils. What do we have here? More Becca. Uh, more subculture palettes. Then I noticed this in someone else's video as well that they had the Anastasia Aurora glow kit. I believe this is the one with like the green and pink highlights, like the neon one. Something else I noticed is this Vegas Nay palette. I know their liquid lippies are really popular, but I've actually never seen this palette. Maybe it didn't sell well and it just ended up here. That's the only thing I see of her brand. A um, lot more palettes in here, but nothing that's like really high end. We have just like Profusion, other brands that you would kind of find at the drugstore. <laughs> Your backpack? You're so cute. Blush and bronzer palette, Coastal Scents. Oh, I didn't know Coastal Scents was sold here. Lots of Ellen Tracy stuff. Um, Profusion, I know you can get at Target. And then we have one Lorac palette back here. That's the thing with all the high-end stuff. It's actually um, like locked up like this, so you can't really open the palette or see the shades much for yourself. Um, I don't really like that. I don't think they'll really get sold much that way, but whatever. So you also have this, which is the e.l.f. Beautifully Precision Brush Kit, which is actually a really good deal. This is 20 bucks. I remember when this first launched, it was super popular, and this brush alone was like 12 bucks. Um, I believe each other brush was like five or six, so you can get this whole thing for 20 if you can find this at your local store. 
They also just have some other like random brands up here on the table. These brushes actually look really nice. I've never heard of this brand, True Beauty Pro Power Brush. Looks like each one is sold individually for like five or six bucks. And then we just have some random cargo, more eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> you showing them your toy? Show them what you're gonna get. Hey, this looks pretty cool. And his butt makes a sound. Yeah, a, a dinosaur is gonna grow out of there. When we get home, we're gonna put it in the water. All right, so I wanted to get into what I actually purchased. Go ahead and share it with you guys. As you know, I'm kind of doing like a no buy, but I bought a few things. I'm just like, you know, I'm restricting my spending lately because I sincerely do want to move and become a homeowner, which y'all know I'm like so repetitive about, but I'm trying to really like rein in all my other shopping and not really get anything unless it's a necessity. So I didn't really pick up too much makeup. I just went to look and to kind of get that footage for you guys, but I did end up picking up some clothing at TJ Maxx, which was just so crazy affordable. I wanted to share it. Hopefully they have these pieces at your guys local store if you want to grab some stuff so the first thing is I found these elephant pants which were in the pajama section but I'm gonna rock these for like every day I feel like they're super cute like um, boho pants boohoo boho yeah boho chic vibe with like a black tank top they're really flowy I feel like these were just super cute I got a medium they have a drawstring and they just go all the way down into like flare a flare situation um, I feel like with a black tank top maybe some heels I don't know, that'd be like super cute for like a casual day. I don't know, do you guys think these are just like pajamas? <laughs> I feel like they're, they're gonna be really cute. And then of course I had to pass through the workout section. Um, I actually found this brand, RBX, where they have a ton of stuff that's a dupe of Lululemon clothing. So if you're familiar with Lulu, they have the um, Define jacket. I believe it's 128 bucks. I found this one for $19.99, can't beat that, and it's a complete dupe of that jacket. It's got literally the exact same stitching, exact same zipper, pockets. The brand is RBX, I just chose to go with gray. Sleeves look exactly like Lulu, it's got the same stitching right here. And then we do have the pockets right there. I went with a medium on this as well because it looked like it was gonna stretch and it looks like it runs a little big. I usually wear a medium or a large, um, but for tw 20 bucks, like you cannot beat that. Um, I'm really trying to be a lot more strict on my fitness grind lately, you know, because if you were on my IG live the other day, I was like, uh, mm -hmm, your girl's going through a little chunky moment, but I need to like start to be, I go to the gym all the time, but sometimes I just like fuck around. Like I need to be strict on it again. So I wanted to get, you know, some cute active wear to like motivate me. And then I did pick up one pair of workout pants from the Balance Collection. These are just gray. They have a really thick waistband right here, which will like suck you in. And I love high-waisted leggings. So I just got gray and they also have a phone pocket. Looks like it'll fit my phone. I have the iPhone 8 Plus and they just go all the way down. Super stretchy. Again, the brand is the Balance Collection. I don't think I've ordered or had any other pants from them ever, but they're super, super soft. And these were only 15 bucks. And um, if you guys can find this brand at your local store, they also had tons of other colors. So definitely check that out. Then I just got one hoodie. I, I don't really need more hoodies. I have so many because I like live in them. But this one I got specifically because it was super thin. Um, I'm someone, if you've watched like a lot of my tea times or my vlogs, I love to chill in just like jeans or sweatpants just with a hoodie. Like my style is really basic. I'll do my hair and my makeup like super glam and then I'll just have like a really casual outfit on. I just love being comfy. And this hoodie really drew me to it um, today because it's so incredibly thin. Like if you live somewhere hot but you still want to wear loungewear and you don't want something thick that will like make you sweat, you'd love this. Um, the brand on this one is gonna be Te Verde, designed in NYC, size medium. I don't know. So it's just like a beige, more like a white hoodie. Um, it does have like this cool neck flap right there. Some draws, and then it's just super, super thin. It's definitely oversized. I got a small, medium. Medium, um, this was 20 bucks. I just thought that was super cute. So I got this olive jacket. What I absolutely loved is that it has a little hoodie, like a gray hoodie built inside. The jacket itself is pretty thin, again, because it doesn't get too cold here, but I love how if you need that extra warmth, it's kind of got that hoodie in there, and then it just zips all the way down. I absolutely love this. Again, you really can't beat the pricing over there. This brand is called Love Tree, and it was 20 bucks. Like, cannot beat that. And then I just got one more jacket. This was just a jean jacket, but it kind of has that same vibe where it has the sweater built into it. Um, this year, I really do want to do some more fashion posts. I didn't really do too many last year on Instagram or anything for the fall time. So I'm planning some outfits with like leggings and these jackets and stuff, which I think will be really cute paired together. And this was again, 20 bucks. So could not beat it. I thought that was super cute. 
So that was it for TJ Maxx. Literally for everything though, I spent like under 130, which is incredible. You guys know me, I love shopping at budget stores. I feel like if you go to Lululemon or anywhere at the mall for 130, you could literally get like one thing. So I I could make a bunch of outfits with that stuff. I got the workout clothing, really happy with everything. And then when I picked up my son from school today, we did just swoop by Marshalls. The truth about why is because I picked him up and your girl had to go to the bathroom really bad. And um, so we just swooped through really quick, but I ended up finding a few things. This is kind of like a little thing that I do for myself when I don't want to spend a lot of money. I don't allow myself to get a cart when I go in. I'm like, okay, if I want to buy something, it has to be able to fit in my hand and I have to be able to walk around with it as I'm shopping. I'm not allowed to get a cart. You know, otherwise a bitch will fill up that cart. So I literally just got like three things, but I figured I'd share with you guys. You know that I've purchased like 700 of these. Do I know where any of them are? No. Do I know where any of the lids are? No. So you know I had to purchase another one, just a regular blender bottle. This was like six bucks. Uh, the other day I was trying to take my pre-workout and pack up my car. Okay, hair, don't fail me. Don't fail me. Um, and I couldn't find one. And I, you know I own like 100 of these. So I just bought another one for backup. Then my absolute favorite thing that I found out of this whole shopping trip was these Jessica Simpson he, um, flats. I was gonna say heels. These are so beautiful. I have just been living in plain like black and nude flats lately, but Sadie actually tore up one, a pair that I really loved from Target. So I've been looking for some flats that are super cute, but still affordable. And these were on clearance for 24 bucks. They're from Jessica Simpson. I thought the studs right there were just absolutely stunning. I wish they offered these in black as well because they're super cheap. I would have just bought both pairs, but all I could find for my size was this tan color. Um, but this will still go with a lot of outfits. Like tan and black are pretty much neutral and can go with anything, but I thought the rhinestones on there were so pretty and for 24 bucks, like can't beat it. So check your local store if you guys want these because they're currently on clearance. Found those, picked up Christian some little Spider-Man socks, nothing too exciting. But then I did just pick up three little makeup items. Um, my Marshalls had a huge bin where they had a bunch of makeup on clearance. So I picked up my favorite Maybelline gel eyeliner, which they had there for $2.99. This is usually about seven to eight bucks at CVS or whenever I can find it at like Albertsons, it's like nine bucks. So for three bucks, I just wanted to pick up an extra. My current one, I haven't even run out of it yet, but I'll just keep this as backup because it was like super affordable. And then I haven't purchased anything from this brand ever. It's called Max Studio, um, but I love the colors in this little um, pan. They're just like brown, neutral colors. And this was $2.99. So I just wanted to pick it up and see if the pigmentation was good. I feel like this would be really good whenever I just go stay at Chris's house or like travel for the weekend and you just want like a little neutral palette. Um, and you actually get a pretty good size pan of each eyeshadow for a total of three bucks. It's like 50 cents an eyeshadow or something. It's crazy. So grab that. And then this was actually the thing I was most excited for. I couldn't believe I found these there. These are the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lippies and this was $5.99. If I'm not mistaken, I believe they sell these at Sephora for about 20 bucks. I know there's a huge shade range. Um, I only found some pink and some like orangey ones at my current store. Um, this was $5.99. This color is... What are you called? Hopeless Romantic. It's just like a mauve peachy color. I really, really like it. I tried it um, on the car on the way here. This is gonna be the color right here. And I actually like the formula. I think I first heard a few people review these when they first came out and um, ooh, said they were sticky, but they feel fine to me and they have really pretty packaging. So I was really stoked to find that for only six bucks. Then yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you guys know recently I picked up some Halloween decor back here from TJ Maxx, Marshalls. There's like a little spooky clock and a little cat. I put a pumpkin upstairs, kind of trying to decorate a little bit for Halloween. I picked up two more of these flowers. They're just like huge, like little pot flowers. I find that they're a little bit more affordable at TJ Maxx rather than if you go to Home Goods. I don't know if it's just me, but Home Goods is definitely like jacking up the prices, you know? And they always have the cutest stuff, but it's definitely getting a little bit more pricey. Um, but yeah, that was all I picked up. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing kind of what I could find at my local discount stores. Let me know if you enjoy this type of video or if you would like me to film this video a different type of way next time. Maybe I could actually film myself like in the shopping cart in the store like putting everything in the cart and kind of taking you step by step I've seen these videos done a few different ways and I just I always enjoy them y'all know I love a good deal and it being like on a budget and like just I don't know I feel like I'm like so weird but just spending the day like driving around to all the different budget stores and finding good deals is super fun for me so let me know if you guys enjoyed this I appreciate you again thank you for giving me a break these past few days I hope you'll subscribe here to my channel and stay tuned for my tea time tomorrow Mwah.